Next, we're going to look at some different ways that we can prove that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. And here I have five reasons to conclude that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. And in each case, there's a diagram that we can mark up as we talk about these. Now, the first statement, look here. If it has parallel opposite sides, then it is a parallelogram. Let's go ahead and mark the diagram accordingly. The standard markings are a little triangle on each of those sides pointing the same way. That shows that that side is parallel to that one. And then some different triangular markings on the other pair of parallel opposite sides. Okay, and that indicates that that side is parallel to that. Now this statement if it has parallel opposite sides, then it is a parallelogram. That is the definition of a parallelogram. We don't have to prove that statement. That statement, we know it's true because it's true by definition. A parallelogram is defined as a quadrilateral with parallel opposite sides. These other statements, though, we will need to prove. Okay, number two, look at this. If it has equal opposite sides, then it is a parallelogram. So let's mark this side equal to this one and this side equal to this one. So what I'm telling you is that if it has equal opposite sides, then from that we can conclude that it is a parallelogram. Now we've already shown that if it is a parallelogram, then it has equal opposite sides. But this statement is different. This statement is the converse of that. And remember, just because a statement is true doesn't mean that its converse is true. So we know that parallelograms have equal opposite sides, but we, we still need to prove that if it has equal opposite sides, then it is a parallelogram. Let's look at the next one, number three. If it has equal opposite angles, then it is a parallelogram. So if this angle is equal to this one, and this angle is equal to this one, from that, we can conclude that it is a parallelogram, and we will prove that in just a moment. Okay, let's look at statement number four. If two opposite sides are parallel and equal, then it is a parallelogram. So let's take one of these pairs of opposite sides. I'll do this one and this one, although you could just as easily do the other two. But let's mark them as parallel. So a little triangular marking, and equal. Okay, so if I have one side both parallel and equal to another opposite side, then it is a parallelogram, and I will prove that also. And then number five, if the diagonals bisect each other, then it is a parallelogram. So sketch in the diagonals, and if they bisect each other, that means that this piece is equal to that, and this piece is equal to that. So let's mark that diagram accordingly. Just put a mark here and here, and then a different mark here and here. And it can be proven that if the diagonals bisect each other, then it must be a parallelogram. And again, the first of these, the definition of a parallelogram, need not be proven, but the other ones we will prove.